Welcome, welcome to another Emoji a Martin Show. Great to have you back. So Emoji, what have you been up to my friend? Oh, oh I like that, I like that. How about you guys, have you been in doing a little bit of this? Now I notice Emoji you've got, uh, got something on there. Yeah, because it's Mental Health Awareness Week. So Moji and I, we thought we'd do this episode all about mental health, about how we can improve our mental health. We're not going to get too heavy. We're just going to be about the kind of activities that we can do to keep ourselves healthy. Because as many of you will have heard me say before, we have both physical health and mental health, every single one of us. So it's, it's important we keep ourselves fine-tuned and MOT'd to make sure that, you know, we can deal with things as as that's crazy life comes along and hits us. So we're going to go through some of the things that maybe can help you. And some of these things I think you've already been doing during this lockdown. So Moji, kick things off, my friend. Where can we start? Aha! Exercise in whatever form. You know, completely and utterly, totally scientifically proven that any form of exercise gets all those chemicals and bodily processes working that makes you happier, more positive, more energized. So, and we've, we've talked about this, haven't we, Moji? We've talked about this in terms of exercise. You know, if you're a gym freak and you're really working out, fine, but just a, just a walk. And actually combining your exercise with outdoors, as Moji is demonstrating right here, is a wonderful, wonderful thing. The, Literally, the breeze on your face, you know, stimulating your senses. The, the heat of the sun stimulating your senses. Getting that vitamin D, that vitamin D that helps us not be so exhausted, believe it or not. Um, listening. Just being mindful of what's going on. Listening to the birds, the, the wind rustling through the trees. Being mindful of what's going on around us. It's incredibly positive. And it, it makes you grateful for what's going on. So you know, I'm, I know gratitude is something that uh, is banded around quite a lot. And a lot of people do like gratitude journals or when they wake up first thing in the morning, they'll write down one, you know, the 10 things they're grateful for to start the day on a really positive note. And there's something you can do. In fact, you can do it at the end of the day. You can do it at any time of the day. It's always a great exercise to really internalize. What am I grateful for? And join these extraordinary times Never has there been a time when we've been all, you know, as a world, stripped back so much in terms of our lives that all of a sudden we are contemplating and reflecting on, well, what actually is important in our lives? What actually is essential in our lives? What are the things when we've been stripped back, are we truly grateful for? And those might be some of the things that we're, we're able to do right now. Or maybe the absence of things has really brought that into focus. And now we're thinking, I'm really grateful for those things and I can't wait to get back to those. So yeah, gratitude is, is an amazing one. So, you know, with the exercise, with the outside, with, with gratitude, there's all, already an abundant lot of things that we can do. And none of that is going to cost you money. And in fact, it's not going to even cost you much time. What else have we got? The, we're kind of reflecting on that, like the gratitude and being still with yourself. So just those deep breaths, taking those moments for yourself. And just, you know, if you're not journaling, not writing this stuff down, but just taking stuff down, like you, you let out or you sat down and you just close your eyes and you just, just be with yourself. And think about, you know, or, or listen to what's happening around you. Just be really mindful. Get, try and get rid of all that clutter in your mind, all those thoughts that we're having and racing around and, you know, what we're going to have for tea and all that kind of stuff, you know, and just try and try to be in the moment. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And the more you do it, the better you get at it as well, because, you know, there are a lot of distractions and our minds are funny old things. But just taking some time out for yourself to do that. Oh, it's, it's incredible. So actually, it reminds me, to be honest, of... And through my experience and my my training and and what I do with clients, there there were th there were three things that I was always encouraged to 
get into, to work into my days. And it's something then that's always stuck with me. And like I said, I, I use it with clients as well. And it's so effective to kind of bring purpose to your day. And the three things are achieve something. I did it. Um, achieve something. And it can be anything, right? It could be work. So you've gone, right, I've, ah, I've ticked that off the list. Great. Or it could be you hoovered the lounge, you dusted, you mowed the lawn, you washed the car. You gave yourself permission to, to do that thing that you've, you've been wanting to do for a little while. You've achieved something in a day. So at the end of the day, you can reflect on it. It wasn't a waste of day. You know, when you get to an end of the day, you go, oh, what have I really done today? There's something, even one thing you go, well, you know what? Yeah, I did achieve that. I did do that. So achieve something. And the second thing is you time. Yeah. Do something for you. Something that's pleasurable for you. Not, not rely on, on, on other things and, uh, or other people. Something that, that you want to do. And I guess, you know, um, it could be that you set aside that time and go, I'm going to listen to music. Listen to music. I mean, that is a great one. Music is, I, I feel like music is a healer. Music can take us away can lift our mood, it can calm our mood, it can neutralize our mood. It's, and when you got those headphones on, you can hear all the other intricate things behind the scenes that you don't usually hear when you've got it on loudspeaker. So I love to do that. So get involved with music, or maybe you, you're reading a book. You know, that's, that's what you want it to do. Or you're doing some gaming, or you know, whatever it might be, do something that's gonna, gonna make you happy. It's just for you. Um, and the last one was human connection. It's so easy. It was certainly so easy, you know, before life now to rush through a day and really not have any kind of meaningful interaction or conversation with another human being, other than it being kind of transactional in terms of getting work done or, um, you know, a, a brief, how are you? How's your day? Before you're exhausted and then you go to bed. Set some time aside to have some meaningful human contact. And that could be with your partner, your husband, your wife, your brothers, your sisters, your, your children. And again, a bit like what we said earlier, it doesn't have to be, you know, I'm not saying spend five hours in the lotus position and contemplate life and the meaning of life. We're talking about things that you can do and just, you know, for five minutes. You know, if you're doing something for you or you know, that thing you're going to achieve, it doesn't have to take forever to do it. And that human connection, if you have a 10 minute, really good, deep, meaningful conversation with somebody, really paying attention to what's going on in their life, it can be an incredible experience. So I was always encouraged to work those three things in to my, to my day, which is what I try to do. And that helps your mental health. And to be honest, it, it just... It brings purpose, it brings meaning, it brings positivity to every day of your life. You don't have days then that you kind of go, well, that was a waste of time or you know, really, what did I get done in that day? So thanks for Moji for uh, helping demonstrate that. I mean, what are the, what are the things can we do for our, our, our mental health positively? Oh, and we have covered this one before, right? Pets. Yeah. Pet therapy. Absolutely a thing. If you've got a pet, you know, pay them the the attention they they deserve for being their cute furry selves or in some cases their scaly selves um and you know just being mindful of a pet and interacting building that bond seeing what they, those quirky things they do oh incredible really incredible um reminds me of bunnies reminds me of my bunnies uh what else can we do we could <laughs> we could, <laughs> we could certainly laugh have a laugh Watch something that's funny. Read something that's funny. Go and find some jokes. Go Google some jokes and then go tell some really corny jokes to people. See if they laugh. Go and do something silly. Go and do a TikTok video. Go, go do something crazy. Completely unexpected. And, and surprise your household with it. Um, have a laugh, right? Don't take life 
too seriously. I know we're going through some pretty crazy and difficult times right now. So the more that we can actually see the positive side of life, the more that we can, you know, almost take the mickey out of ourselves, not take life too seriously, um, that really, it, it helps the mood, not just for us, but it helps the mood in an environment like our house, where you might have four or five people in that in that place. This kind of thing lifts the mood and the vibe in, in an environment. So yeah, I mean, I love that, that's good. What else we got, my friend? Ooh, saying no. I tell you what, I was I was at a networking meeting doing a talk and we had great discussions after and part of that was about the art of saying no. Absolutely, for our own mental and physical health, the ability to say no, but not in an obstructive way, in a you know self-preservation you've got good rationale as to why you're saying no and then maybe help them help whoever it is you know still achieve what they want to do but it's not reliant on you that is a gift and certainly you know if you want to talk to us about that then uh be delighted to because that that is a superpower you know being able to say no confidently is a superpower and it gets us away from that yes, 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 yes mentality, which only ever just piles things up. And obviously mentally it creates stress and overwhelm and all those kinds of things. So absolutely great shout, my friend. Great shout. No. And so, uh, you know, what else we got? Because we talked about the movies. Movies? Did we talk about movies? I'll throw it in there again. Uh, movies? So, you know, and again, I think we use that in, you know, for you, you might want to watch a movie. Um, but your know, family time as a movie. I know certainly during this time, my family and I have we've really carved out some good time together in the early evenings to watch, be it like programs, series, series programs, or uh, some movies that we've always wanted to be watching together. So that's really good quality time. I love that. And then all the discussion and the stuff that happens afterwards, um, even the reenactments. Um, so we've got gaming as well. Gaming, if you're a gamer. And again, Maybe not just solitary gaming, but get the whole family involved. Play the game with your kids. You can play, uh, if you're playing Fortnite, you can you do split screen now. Get involved. Um, just have a laugh, even if you're not very good at it. It doesn't matter. It's just a different thing. It's just for our brains to work in a slightly different way, to be entertained in a slightly different way. Um, and even if we're getting completely spanked by our children. So, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Just be in awe of their skills and how fast their fingers work with the controllers you know um we've talked about music as well and there was one thing I, it was that was yeah we knew we needed to illustrate this one know when to step back you know it's really easy in life certainly before you know what was happening now to just blast through life and not really you know be at everybody's beck and call okay um and that's certainly something that i'm hoping that we can uh we can improve on going forward we're not very good at kind of saying you know what i've sort of had enough right now my head is spinning i'm exhausted yeah there's lots of other things that i could do people think i could do or there's some expectation somewhere but you know what right now the most important thing for me is to maybe just just shut away and go and go into my room or you know whatever it might be go and go and have some quiet time have some quiet time to myself to just kind of recharge, recalibrate, because life is crazy. And even when we're in lockdown like this, life can still feel pretty intense. And when you're scrolling through all that social media and, you know, people bickering and arguing and bad news or, you know, whatever it is, it can really get on top of us. So switch everything off. Give yourself permission. It's one of, again, it's a great superpower to have. Give yourself permission to just not be feeling it right now, to feel a little bit down, to feel feel rather tired, just to feel like you just wanted some you time. Permission to do that. You've got my permission. You've got Moji's permission, and give yourself permission because again, you know, through these times and going forward, something like that can really, really help. Right. I think we've covered an awful lot of things, and I hope, we hope that this has been really useful and a useful reminder because all of these things we already know about, but it's kind of that reminder that, you know what, you've got the choice to do these things. And they don't, like we've said, they don't have to be five hour great monumental things. Chipping away at these things, including some of these things in your day every day can really help 
your mood, it can help your purpose, it can help you get through difficult times. And let's face it, these are pretty extraordinary and difficult times. So, as always, thank you ever so much for joining us. Please look after your mental and your physical health. And like we always say at the end, please do stay safe.